Today I want to take a few minutes and uh, talk about sporotrichosis. Sporotrichosis is basically a chronic fungal infection caused by sporothrix skenkii. It's distributed all over the world and most patients they have contact with the soil or moss or decaying wood. Transmission from animals to humans is also reported. Infection takes place when the organism is inoculated into the skin, usually on the hand, arm or foot, especially during gardening. That's a very important clue. When they tell you the patient was gardening, that's a good clue to sporotrichosis. Always think about that. Patient was gardening and he got a hard, non-tender, subcutaneous nodule. Always think about sporotrichosis. So that's the most common form. It comes with a hard, non-tender, subcutaneous nodule. So do not think it is painful. It is non-tender. So think about that form. A patient is doing gardening and he developed a hard, non-tender, subcutaneous nodule. Later, what happens is like these nodules, they fix it to the underlying skin and in the next few days, the lymphatics draining that area, these nodules, they spread and they disseminate. Disseminated sporotrichosis is rare, but in certain people, especially immunosuppressive people, the disease can go into various organs like uh, lungs and bones and uh, even brain. So, in immunosuppressed patients, think about disseminated sporotrichosis as well. And how do you diagnose this? Cultures. I mean, it's very common sense, right? Most often, the definitive diagnosis comes from culture because you are actually growing the organism that is infecting the human being. Then antibody tests. You can use antibody tests for disseminated disease, especially meningitis. Then how do you treat this? Treatment basically you need to remember. You start with itraconazole. Itraconazole you have to use for several months and once you use this many people respond if it is like mild disease. You can also use terbinafine, 500 milligrams twice daily. Terbinafine also gives a lot of uh, uh, good results. Then amphotericin B. Amphotericin B is good for severe systemic infections. So etraconazole, terbinafine, amphotericin B. Remember those three drugs when you are treating sporotrichosis. What about surgery? In disseminated disease, surgery is usually contraindicated, except when you see these uh, severe nodules or abscesses, like secondary bacterial infection happening, then you have to do surgery. What about prognosis? Prognosis is good for mild to moderate disease, but severe disease, I mean, you can guess, mild and moderate in every disease, they respond well. Severe disease, they don't respond well. So those are the important things I wanted to tell you today about sporotrichosis. It's very important disease. Two years ago, I was uh, working in an urgent care clinic. I got a patient. She said she was working in her garden and she developed these non-tender, very, very hard nodules. And they're spreading along her arm. That's sporotrichosis. Told her she has sporotrichosis. Gave her a traconazole. And it went well. So you see, that's very, very important. That you listen to the story. The story is the diagnosis. 
So listen to the story. What are you doing? What were you doing at home? How did this start like that? So many times just the patient's story will tell you everything. You don't even have to do all the cultures and uh, antibody tests and all that. If you listen to the story well and you can treat it. Hope those things will help you. Have a nice day.